uh, have to do it on here because the other one is not working. Anywho, let's get this started. Uh, season, uh, and this is my opinion of my rating of uh, Strangely Things Season 4, even though I might not have seen them. Alright, anywho, Strangely Things Season 2 will first because there's lots of things in it, but uh, not all of it. them are good and... Um, strangely thing, season two, all, all that really happened as a mystery is trying to, to find and solve some things. And then, um, and, uh, they not really, I need to actually stuff for Bob, so there's only one reason for that. And then, that's why I went to there, and then season one starts, and I put that right uh, after that, because, um, uh, before that, either way, uh, it's better than season two because there is uh, lots of um, action in it, lots of things, actual finding a mystery in it instead of trying to attempt to find a mystery. And that's why I put it right there. It has lots of things and uh, not clearly the best season, but still. And then season four, I don't think it really has the purpose because all it's really uh, focusing on is well and um, Hopper is upside down and yeah I don't want to see that really but I would like to be in it as a background character okay and then um season five I don't really know it's a mystery and then season three is the best because there's lots of like uh two three people die in it and it creates lots of Motion, action, revenge, because mystery trying to figure out if uh, Billy is like get him in the sign of pool and all that. So, yeah, I really liked it. And it's a sci fi series, so that is my rating of Sandra Things. And I, it doesn't mean I saw all of them, it just means that I might have. Alright, bye.